I've no idea what happened there. Um, I'll wait for people to come back. I'll just... Um... Uh, my daughter just texted me to say that uh, maybe there was um, the wind blew the internet away. Oh, seems to be working now. Sometimes when it's really, really windy, the internet's rubbish. Oh, I have a whole load of different people watching this time. Oh, she says I'm back. I'll give you a minute to catch up. Um, yeah, I was just trying to decide what to do next on this pheasant painting. Um, and there are lots of little tiny white gaps all over the place. And I'm thinking about putting a really, a really um, sort of vivid colour in those spaces. I think, I, sorry, Margaret, I think the wind blew the internet away. That's probably what it was. Mm. I'm just experimenting with colours while you're returning. Hello again. Hello, NASA. Didn't realise you were interested in painting. Hmm. Don't think he is, actually. Right, I think I quite like, quite like that, like that, that quite vividy yellow. Hello, yeah, sorry folks, I don't know why I went. All right, I'll tip you up and carry on with the painting. So I was talking about uh, finding something quite vivid for these little gaps here. Something that might just, I don't know, it's an irritating expression, but something that might sort of pop. And I can save that crazy fuchsia pink for something else. Yeah, I quite like that. So, Gillian, am I allowed to tell the axe story? I do believe, naturally. Is it Payne's Grey? Yeah, it's really, really windy here today. It's supposed to get worse as well. And the river is very high because there's been loads of snow melt. Speaking of snow melt, um, was it Saturday? I went to the bathroom for a week. Yeah, I quite like the contrast of that sort of bright yellowy green. Yeah, so uh, I, yeah, I went to the bathroom for a wee and I heard a sort of a rhythmic sound and I investigated it and it was a drip coming through the ceiling. Drip, drip, drip. So I got a towel to catch the drips and then I went downstairs and, well, obviously I pulled my knickers up and that. And I went outside and looked and there's an overflow pipe from the header tank, the cold water header tank in the loft. Uh, and it was dripping a little bit. And then I, I just did the calculations and I thought I bet the overflow pipe had frozen up. And so instead of overflowing through the overflow pipe, it was overflowing into the loft space and dripping into the bathroom. And that's exactly what has been happening. Anyway, the overflow pipe must have thawed eventually and it stopped doing it. But the plumber came today and he has put a new bullcock in the um, cold water header tank. So hopefully that's cured that problem. I'm just going to turn it around. Right. I'm thinking about 
pink. Mm, that's a bit of a dirty pink I've got left in there. And again, this really is just playing with colours, but these two colours look so nice together. Like the pink and blue. Let's see what you've been saying. Are you all back? Does that mean that the roof <laughs> the roof will be back? Dream on, Margaret. Um, I did, I did notice that, I mean, the roof isn't perfect, but when um, Handsome Harry came and did the roof a while ago, the one that you perved over, he, uh, he said it was in good nick, so. <laughs> hello, Sally. Hello, Will. Do a squirrel. Oh, do you know what I really like? You probably do too when people go, they say this, they go, Marianne, do you know what you should do? And, you know, as soon as I say that, I think, oh, here comes something that's really going to be great not i absolutely hate it when people say that and they always go "Ooh, will you do red squirrels or puffins or highland cattle with a with a sort of a bit of a bit of a fringe covering one eye or did i say puffins red squirrels i don't want to be too rude and insulting and glib but th there does seem to be like a really really a, a, like a, a list of incredibly popular subjects but I always find that if I if I do work that's like driven by my response to the subject tends to work better you need his number again please <laughs> Will oh I've got something here for you on my pocket knit Will like could everybody else just look away please Um, that was very rude. Jane, hello. Uh, Gillian, can I tell them the axe story? Go on. I'll wait to hear what you say. Gillian, send me a message, send me a text or, uh, or a WhatsApp. Just say, yes, fine. No worries, I'll keep you can stick to what you're good at, Will. <laughs> right, so um, here I am filling in these funny little areas with pink. Not because they were pink, but because I quite like pink and blue together. And it just creates a sort of curious contrast. Julian, the polite version. <laughs> I didn't know that there was an impolite version. Um, right. So anyway, those of you who follow or ever catch a glimpse of my Facebook page will notice that we had a unique opportunity on Saturday to um, create a hole in an iced over uh, lake and make a very small sort of swimming area uh, and it's something that it's just something that um, we thought would be quite good fun and also both being a pair of hideous show-offs uh, we thought we'd do it so we've got our axes and uh, we took a belt and braces approach to the recording of the event which will nichols you'll understand because you are a wildlife photographer so we both set up our iphones with like props because I, we've both got these things that you can sit them in and set them away uh, doing a time lapse so that means it takes a photograph every few seconds and then plays like a video so it's 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 very fast and funny and and whenever you see one of those you sort of 
you think you should add Benny Hill music to it. Um, oh God, it just look from here, like the blue and the pink is mm, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, and I'm going to carry on uh, doing white areas with that pink because I just can't help myself. So yeah, so we, we, we did this, we met up and as you all know, we're as hard as nails and cold water doesn't affect us at all um, until we've been in for about a minute. No, I'm only joking. So, so we did, we had our fun in the, fun in the ice, but it was all set up and we both had our own uh, ice act choppers mine was a big one Gillian had quite a small one anyway so it was it was a marvelous success the photos were brilliant and you may have seen some obviously everything was socially distanced and um and then I got a phone call quite a while later um <laughs> yeah so is it crimson paint no uh, so anyway I got a phone call a little while later I think I can't remember what it was and she said I said hello and she said you're not going to believe it she said, I'm not even home yet I went all oh, right so she had to go and she had to take some medicine for someone because she's she's like a sort of angel taking medicine and um and so she'd gone all the way to I think Pontylands and all the way back and then she said she heard a little sound and it reminded her that she had put her ice her sorry her axe on the roof of her car when we'd left the lake which would have been like, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes or an hour earlier. And um, she said this little sound, I think she was still driving, she was on hands free. And she said the little sound reminded me and I, and I just pretty much said, right, stop, turn around. Because that little sound will have been your axe falling off the roof. She said, well, it can't still be there. I said, have you got roof bars? And she said, yes. So I said, you know, Fifey once, um, had a, it, it, I thought it was a shotgun, but I, I was telling, I was relating the conversation to him, and he said, "No, it was much more dangerous. It's much worse. It was a rifle." Five had driven pretty much the length of Scotland with um, a, a rifle on the roof of his car. He's he's put his shotgun on the car a few times as well, and he's also lost um, wallets that way. But they've all been returned. I mean, the man is like so lucky so i said when you hear a little sound on the roof that is you know the child in the um carry cot or the axe or the rifle falling off um i'll tell you about the carry cot one another time anyway so she did she, she said rang a little bit later and she said you're not going to believe it i found it in the middle of the road and i just said well thank goodness you found it and got it back and somebody who had uh, like had a massive argument with her husband or his wife, hadn't been driving in a rage, seen it, thought, you know, this is meant to be, picked it up, gone back and then um, axed the spouse to death with it. So anyway, all's well that ended well. Well, in that department, anyhow. Oh dear, I just can't stop myself with the pink paint. Oh, it's so nice. It's the most self-indulgent thing. I'm going to go around the head with it. It's mad, isn't it? But it just is lovely. The two colours or the three colours together. I wonder if I should. Yeah, why not? I was going to use a dark colour in between each of these pheasants' feathers, but I'm on a roll now. Mm -hmm. We're going to do it on these as well. 
God, yeah, I can't. I just can't seem to stop. Right, I'm gonna do a um. I'm gonna find a nice colour for this foreground. I hope. Yeah, that'll do. Sort of earthy colour. Not sure I really followed the axe tail. Well, Gillian put her axe on the roof of the car, drove for quite a long time, heard a tiny little rustle on the roof of the car, rang me up to say, guess what, I've lost the axe. And I said, that rustle on the roof of your car was probably the axe falling off. Sure enough, it was. What's not to understand? No, nobody got murdered, but they could have. An opportunist axe-wielding murderer could have seen the axe in the middle of the road. That's all I'm saying. Hello, Marianne Rogers. Oh, hi. I'm doing a live video, actually. Um, what about in half an hour? Okie doke, thank you. Bye. Sorry, folks. You understand now, Maria. Right. Yeah, this colour's quite nice. It's got enough blue in it and enough pink in it to sort of marry in. Not that it needs to. Oh, what was I thinking? I've, I've just arranged to speak to somebody at one o'clock. Well, we all know what happens at one o'clock. Asparagus soup. What about those snakes on David Attenborough last night? I was almost having to turn the television off. I, I'm a bit like irrational when it comes to snakes anyway. But seeing them all right, writhing around together in one place, that's like all my nightmares coming true at once. Fife and I looked at each other with horrified expression on our faces. It was just, oh. I made leek and potato soup last night using our own leeks. Oh, guess what we're having tomorrow night? Rabbit curry. It's like deja vu. It's all happened again. It's like the year's gone by and there's a global pandemic. Not that you need to use the word global because pandemic means world virus or something. Anyway, um, you're doing the sausage bits. Yes. Um, so, uh, yeah, guess what we're having tomorrow night. Come on, one guess. Rabbit curry. I can't wait anymore. Yeah, there's a massive big rabbit in the trap in the garden. So, you know, it had already begun to offend to try and ruin our whatever's less left of our brassicas. I don't think it would eat leeks because there doesn't seem to be anything apart from me that likes likes leeks. We've been doing all sorts of things with leeks recently. 
Um, and when I worked in a vegetarian restaurant years and years and years and years ago in Newcastle, they used to do this, um, I think it was a leek and apple salad, and I loved it. So I was showing off, I said to Fifey, oh, I'm going to make a really different salad. And so that's what I did. I made leek and apple salad. And it was eye-wateringly strong. The leeks were like the strongest leeks you've ever had. And his mouth was sort of on fire with allium burn. And and so was mine. So I'm afraid we won't be having any more leek and apple salad. I think you've got to have like really quite mild leeks, like big mild leeks. That's quite nice. I'm just going to see what the time is. Crikey. It's been ages. You're doing the other uh, sausage bits. Um, um, it's taken forever, hasn't it? Have you considered starting a cooking channel? You can share your asparagus soup recipe. I was just looking up there to see if I've got a packet of it. It's basically just cup of soup, really. You could do it yourself. You could try it at home. Yes, I could start a cooking channel. That would be a really good idea. <laughs> Rule number one, get yourself a husband who's interested in food. Right. Well, just going to ever so slightly darken those areas under the leaves. Yeah, Margaret, that's pretty much how it works. Open a packet and add hot water. So this is um, almost neat blue, which I know you're not supposed to dip straight into the pot. Just to sort of accentuate the shadow that these uh, this imaginary foliage creates. Whenever I say foliage, I think I think of Helen Henderson. But she doesn't seem to be watching these days. She's probably got more interesting things to do. Right. That'll do for now. Thank you, Louise. That's very sweet of you. It's, it's a bit like a sort of jigsaw of colours and shapes. Hmm. I just wish I'd put the eye in the right place, but then, hey ho. Um, right, well, it's been a delight spending time with you. And as you know, I've got someone I'm speaking to at one o'clock, so I've only got a limited window of opportunity to um, entertainment. I've been painting. Some of, thank you for the entertainment. Have I been turning cartwheels? Thank you, Maria, that's very sweet. And um, I am looking forward to seeing more of your paintings on the Lockdown Gang group. Um, I realised that yesterday the person who's put loads of lovely paintings on is Anne, uh, whose name starts with Geordie, and her surname's Giel. Uh, so yes, I omitted her from my list of regular painters who put stuff up. So, right, so for more serious painting and um and painting related chat tune in another day sarah thank you i like the pheasant thank you sarah and sarah and thank you for the order it's in the post i do my best to put on yes louise you do well done paintings yes sarah have you been doing anything with your paints i think maybe it's time we saw your efforts <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm off now. Have a lovely day. <clears throat> Trying to touch the finish button. <laughs>